اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب زدنا علم آمین یا رب العالمین اوکی سو انشاءاللہ تیرے we'll resume the exercises so inshallah as soon as we finish these and we can start the recognition exercises that uh, really test everything that we have done till now and inshallah inshallah hopefully after that we will start with the jumla ismia instead of going back to the status and the mausuf and everything so that we can keep uh, close to ustad Uh, what is he doing and we can revise as soon as he has done so inshallah okay so let's start with the exercise identify whether the following words fit into the mustar if alan islaman pattern okay similarly oh, apologize okay similarly as we did last time we're going to look at the word and try to find out the family okay okay inshallah inshallah okay number 1 iqabun <clears throat> now there are a number of ways to do this one is to go through all of the masters from big eight family and the small six families and then try to see which family does it belong to okay yes okay. so iqabun iqabun it seems like uh, islam and islam and yeah. yeah it is f what is the family number Four. Okay. The giveaway is the Hamzatul Qata with a Kasra because in the Mazdar form of Aslama, it becomes Kasra uh, uh, on the Hamzatul Qata, so it becomes E. So E Qabun Islamun. So this is F four. Okay. What about number five? excellent Jidalan. It is Jahada family. Mm-hmm. Jihadan. Yes, it is F three. Yep. Jihadan. Excellent. Taawunin. Well, that's easy. Taawun family. Tisaad. Yes, and what is the number of the family? F five. F five is Tafarroqa. Oh. uh f6 sorry yes so i although there is nothing wrong with not knowing the numbers as far as arabic is concerned but inshallah when we do the dictionary it will be easy when we do remember what family has what number uh, so inshallah that's just for practice okay let's do the other four on this page yes yeah uh, number three Number two. Family two. Iqbalan is from what family? Oh. It is family three. Oh, sorry, family four. Family four. Yes. Family. Exactly, because of the Hamzatul Qata with the Kasra. Yeah. Okay. Infialan. What family is this? Infialan family. Yes, in Qalaba family. What number is that? Can you remember? Family eight, number seven, eight. Number seven yeah. in Qalaba. Yes, oh, family seven. eight is Ikhtaraba, right? Okay, so but you got the family right. That's what matters. So in Fala is the in Qalaba family, and the number is F seven. Excellent, Jazakallah Khair. Okay. 
It is at taqtili. Family what two. Family? Exactly, family two. And Alama family, yes. Tafailun. Ta'alimun. That's the mustard that we did. Al Idkaru. It is family four, Aslama family. Hmm. Excellent. Family four. Al Islam. Great. Mashallah Zazak and Khair. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay. We have number nine. At Ta'arrudu. Ta'allama. Ta'allama. What was the mother of Ta'allama? Ta'alluman. Yes. Good. That's so it is. Sorry, my work pen is not working. Just a second. Yes, I'll just write it here. So it is on the pattern of the Farruqan. So it is family five. Okay. Takaburun. Same family five. Yes, same family five. Istihbaran. Family ten. Why? Istighbaran. Hmm. The ist has given it away. Okay. Iwanin. Family four. Asthma family. Islam. Okay. Family four because of the is Qata Qata. Al Falahu. It's the family one. Yes. Falaha Yaflahu. Falahun. Because it does not match any of the eight big families. So we will revert back to family one. Israfun. It is Aslama family because of Hamza Tulkata. Family four. Yes, family four. Excellent. Okay. Then we do. Tanzilun. Family two. Ta'limun. Ta'limun. Excellent. Mu'ahadatin. This family three. Mujahadat. Yes. Excellent. Family three. This is the second master for that family. Al-I'lami. Family four, Al-Islam, me? Yeah. Yes, family four, Al-Islami, because of the Hamza Al-Qadr and the Sukoon on the Fakal, no? which is the marker for family four. At-Tafriqi. Family two, At-Ta'limi? Yes. But uh, Shaddai is not there. Because Allama you alimu ta'liman, it is have shida in the master. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we had Allama and how we wrote the master. You alimu ta'liman, it is. It yes. And ta, it is shada is not there. That's why. Shada. No, it's the oh the shadda here. It's because of the lamb. Okay. Uh, this is a huruf shams. Huruf mm. shams. Mm. Right. These huruf, like sheen, when they come mm -hmm. after the lamb, mm -hmm. the lamb is not pronounced, and the word before it attaches to the. Letter, okay. so we put a shadda on it mm -hmm. to show the merging. So it's just that it's that shadda is not the grammatical one, it's the tajweed one. Mm. Okay, oh. that's that why it's not written. 
ओके अली खरोजी असलम फैमिली फैमिली फोर तकलीमन फैमिली फैमिली टू यस फैमिली टू एक्सीलेंट ओके लेट्स गो नेक्स्ट now we need to know if it's an ism or a fail or a past tense or a present tense okay if the run so first of all it's it an ism or a fail it's a fail it's car this is a master so now master so it's a ism the oh. biggest sign is hmm alif tanween a fail can never mm. have a tanween on it okay when we do recognition this is the this is a small part of recognition exercise when mm-hmm. we do recognition the easiest way to tell whether a word is an ism or a fail is that if it has a tanween or has an al then it's mm. an ism okay tanween and al can never come upon a fail okay 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 and is that now wait so this is an ism mhm is ka run so we look at the families and we look for the isms now we what isms do we have in the families we have the master we have the mm-hmm. ism file we have the isme maful and we have the isme zarf right mm. these are the mm. isms in the surface of it so mm. id ka run uh, we look for again go through the families and look for the isim that is similar or you have the markers here mm. hamzatul qata and the sukun on the zal bakal so it is master of family 4 okay let's do the next one qaruba is, is a this fail? a fail or a ism is it a fail yes it is a fail um qaruba how did you uh, see it was a fail because no tanween and no al here yes and if it was an ism it would have been in the nasab status but there is nothing before it that's making it nasab mm-hmm. so we know that the past tense hua version mm-hmm. always ends in a fatha past tense hua version okay Okay. Yeah. Can I ask? Is that from family one Karuma family? It can yeah. be Karuba ya Karubu or Karuba ya Karabu. I have to see. I just just let me check it out. Wait. Karuba ya Karubu or Karuba ya Karabu. It is. Yes, it is Karuma family. And how do we know it is family one family? Three rulers. Yes, we only have three letters in the Hua version. No extra letters, so it will be from the family one. And then through the dictionary or previous knowledge, we will know it is the Karuma family. Okay. Mm. Okay. Then al infaku. Is this an ism or a fail? It's an ism. Why? Yes. Excellent. It's an ism. And, And then it seems like a masdar. Hmm. <laughs> Islam. Yes. Master of family four. so just mm-hmm. because of knowing the rules it becomes quite easy to get to the right answer because mm-hmm. of the markers and the al mm-hmm. excellent 
Yetakabaru. Is this a fail or an ism? Fail present tense, the Alama family. Why is it a present tense? It's the ya beginning or ending. Yes, we have the ya beginning and o ending, and we do have that combination in the present tense conjugation. And <clears throat> uh, okay, so you got the present tense from the markers. Now, if we want to know the family, although you've already told me, Jazakallah, you were correct. But if you want to do it step by step, then what we will do is one of the tricks is just to remove this the sign of the madare and mm. see how many letters are there so you have ta kaf and two bars so it is more than three letters so it cannot be from the f1 small families it will mm -hmm. be from the big eight families right mm. yeah and then what from the from which of the big eight families you have the ta followed by a shadda. So it is mm. family five. The farraka or the allama family. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. This is understood. Any any confusion in this? No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. For me too. Okay, then we have Yastakh Biru. I'll just write it here so that it's in the middle. Yes, Takh Biru. Is this an ism fail? And if it's a fail, is it past or present? Yastakh Biru, yeah. First, tell me, is it an ism? No, Allah and no Tanween, but noon is there, Una. No, this is Yastakh Biru. There's no Una here. Achha. Yastakh Biru. So okay. you got a Ya beginning, Who ending. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it is a fail. And which fail is it? Yastakh Biru. It is uh, from the family pen. Hmm. Uh, active. Active present. Yes, active present. First, we see whether it's a past or present, and after it, we go to the family, so that not to cause confusion, uh, okay. we follow certain steps again and again. So, inshallah, those steps will uh, we will practice them so much that by the end you will be doing it in your mind, inshallah. Okay, great. That was excellent. Okay. Uh, 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 alaikum. I have one question uh, mm -hmm. about uh, Karuba. Um, Karuba. Uh, mm -hmm. I just like you were debating that uh, if it was uh, Karuma or uh, uh, what was the other candidate before you went to the uh, dictionary? Yeah, I thought uh, wrongly that it was Nasara family, but that no, has uh, yeah, past tense yeah. as the Fatha. So it could only okay, be the Saruma okay, family. Okay. That's what I uh, uh, was looking at, at that uh, when yes. it is uh, Karuma, there is no debate. Because, exactly. Uh, yeah, so okay. Yeah, you're because correct. I didn't exactly. pay attention that uh, you, you don't have to go to the dictionary. Um, okay, okay. Thank exactly, you. exactly. No, that was my bad. Uh, because no, no, of the uh, because I, I didn't uh, I uh, I didn't pay attention to I missed that you were debating it with what so I looked yeah back. okay thank you yeah, thank you. okay then we have uh, tajadala is it a fail or an ism it is an ism uh, yeah. fail okay um, why is it a fail because no al and no tanween. Mm -hmm. And also it ends with the fata. So it matches like Without the, any reason the before it. Yes. So we take it as a fail for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is a fail. What type of fail is it? Is it a past tense or a present tense? Present tense. Present tense. Okay. Wouldn't it be a past tense? 
Because it's the sa alaya the sa alu. Number one. I mean number two. The ja da da. Yeah. No, I'm. T I was saying point number one. <laughs> okay. So uh, the ja da la. Number uh, the first thing is that it can be. You're correct. It can be a present tense because you have a ta beginning and a yeah. uh, ending. But the problem is that if you go to the present tense conjugation, you mm -hmm. look at all the combinations. Do you have a fatha ending with a ta? Fatha ending with a ta. Go Only to your present tense conjugation. What if there was a light? It was light tense star. Light version of the present. Yeah, if it was a light version, then we would see the four reasons of the it being light. Oh, so there's four reasons for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So none of that is working for it now because this is only just a word. That would have been easier when we were doing it in a setting, in a sentence or a fragment or something like that. Okay. But here, as because we do not have any other reason and that there is no inna before it, right? Because an ism is by default rafa. It is not by default fatha. But tajadala and is a fail. Tajadala is a fail. Yeah. Right? We, yeah. Got, we got that tajadala was a fail. Now we are debating whether it's a past tense or a present tense. So everybody said it was a present tense because we have the ta uh, beginning and the uh, ending. So I'm I was telling past. you that yeah. could you go to the present tense conjugation yeah. and can you find a combination that is beginning with a ta and ending with a a? Uh? No, it's and ending with o. Oh. No, exactly. No. So it is not a present tense. Mm. So basically, in uh, all the present tense uh, end with o. So and no. whenever you see, you have your faluna. No, no, I'm talking about uh, singular, hova form. Yes, yes. We, yeah, we the hova form, in our all of them are going to, yeah. And uh, when you see in the hova form, all the fatas, that means it, uh, it, it is basically past tense. All the fat, uh, because there will never be all fatas uh, in uh, in the hova form on the past tense. No, this is the past tense. No, no, I'm uh, saying the, uh, the wrong way. Uh, there will never be uh, fatas only in the past tense. There will be all fatas in the hova form, and in uh, the present tense, there will never be all fatas. Yes, uh, but uh, easier. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I spoke uh, the opposite way. No, no but problem. What I meant was yes, that whenever you point. see all the fatas in the hova form, it will be past tense. Yeah. Right. And another another uh, way is because we did the combinations in the present tense, so uh, to avoid confusion and to avoid the mistake of making this because it does. Uh, I completely agree that it does look like a present tense because of the ta beginning but we know mm. that uh, it were if it was a ta beginning right mm. if it was tafaluna mm. so it is una that is the ending not only this noon it is the vow and the noon that is the ending with the fatha mm -hmm. right so, mm. ta and una ending would have been the madare, but here you have the ta and the fatha, but you don't have the o. Mm. So, it is it cannot be a present tense, hence, this is fele madi past tense. Mm -hmm. And can somebody tell me what family is this? Family six, yes, it is family six. Why? Because ta. Followed by an alif. Alif. Okay. So this is how, inshallah, you will practice how to recognize the words. Okay. Yo, Linu. 
it could be yes and it could be uh, daraba as well okay oh daraba daraba okay yeah, uh, daraba. yes no. yeah yeah no no so, no we are yeah, just talking so, so, about yes. the past tense oh, because okay. you have yeah. fatha 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 on the end kalma yeah. so yeah. you yeah. got three combinations in past tenses yes. yes that have that so mm. then yeah, daraba the, also yes then we go to the dictionary to uh, make sure what Which family word? Okay. Yes, it belongs to, and also, um, inshallah, as uh, we go on to study more of surf, inshallah, we'll see that sometimes one root letter comes from multiple families. So for makara, you have, so for makara, you have gone to the dictionary and seen that it is belongs to the Bab Nasara family, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Number eighteen. Um. I know it's, that it is because uh, uh, I've seen it before. It is uh, uh, first of all, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, first of all, it is past tense. I know, but inshallah, we will follow yeah. process. Yeah. the uh, process uh, again. So it's past tense. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yes. Past tense, and then uh, uh, I uh, know part of the process, not all of it. That it is uh, aslama because uh, um, the Actual root is uh, Hamza, Mim, Noon, yeah. and when you open uh, Aleph, it is like um, it is uh, uh, like for As uh, Aslama uh, Hamza, uh, Aleph Hamza uh, uh, is in the beginning, and then Hamza, and uh, the process uh, of combining uh, the two um, uh, the Aleph and Hamza. Can any, everybody hear? I can't hear. As to this. But uh, if you can show it one more time, yes, because I hear. the way you showed before, I don't remember the whole process. Okay, just a second. We have some problem with the. Just a second. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so it must have been something. My my maybe my side connection problem maybe. Oh, okay, sure, no problem. Yes, uh, where were we actually? I forgot it. Here, right? I'm an Amana. Amana. Yes. So the Amana is actually, again, um, a weird root letter. Mm. It is Hamza Meem Noon. Noon. Right? Mm. Mm. So when it comes with the Aslama family, we know yeah. that the Hamza Tulqata is a sign. So mm. it is always added. Then mm. the Fa Kalma in this regard is the Hamza. So mm. we write Hamza with a Jazam because Sukoon, mm. that is one of the markers of Aslama family. Mm. Then meme is the in kalma, which has a mm. fatha, and mm. the lam kalma is the noon, which has the fatha again. No. So it is a amana, right? Mm. Mm. According to the rules of Tajweed, if you have hamza with a satin, you get a little uh, kick out of it, right? A mm. amana. Joke, yeah. Yes, but the problem is that that decreases the flow of recitation or reciting mm. the smoothness of the language and the arabs are very particular in this regard so what they did was that instead of saying amana in a way you're stopping mid word what they did was they merged these two together so you've got two hamzas so when they merged they became a ah, two two sounds Okay, mm. and you mm. have mana as it is. So mm. from a mana, it became a mana. Yes. We will read all the rules that go into doing this, inshallah, when we do the advanced serve. Okay. For now, just this know that these two hamzas merged to form a longer hamza. Okay. Then Is it a fail sim or a fail? It is fail. Okay, it is fail. Present active. It is present because of the U and O. Okay. Then it is a family too. You all 
Yo Fariku. Yo Fariku. Family five. Uh, five. Family. Family uh, two. Because it has to be two. Allama family. Yeah, Allama family. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. I was wrong. I'm wrong. No problem at all. It's just the absence of the ta. If it yeah, yeah. If the ta would have been there, then it would have been family five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm wrong. No problem at all. Okay. Let's go to Akbara. As uh, no. Aslama. Aslama. Yeah. Four. As yes. And, uh, just give me, just give me a second. It's past tense. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, just give me a second, please. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, Akbara. What is it? Is it a fail or an ism? It's a fail. It is fail. And it is, fail it is a... and it's past tense. It's past tense. And it is Aslama family. Okay, so past tense, why past tense? It has because, a uh, beginning. Because uh, the last uh, uh, the last letter, uh, yeah, a... the last uh, root letter uh, has uh, fatah, and there are all the fatahs on the hover phone. It's not a superlative reason? That would have been Akbaru. Baru, yes. Okay, thank you, Akbaru. Yeah, it right. is okay. afalu tafdil. That's what we call the superlative and the comparative uh, nouns in Arabic. We call them afalu tafdil. Like we don't okay. only call them ismet tafdil. We also say the uh, scale they come on. So it is afalu. Okay, and, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for bringing this up because. Uh, uh, the other day when Ustad uh, or somewhere uh, in one lesson uh, they were talking about this, uh, then I uh, I kind of um, yeah, was unable to really figure it out that how this works. And uh, this uh, uh, Hamza in the beginning uh, is not, is the superlative Hamza. So this is not uh, uh, I, right? It is actually um, this combination yeah. is the Anna version of Madare. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it is also Isme Tafdil. So how do we, would we know which one it is? The Context. The meaning. Mm -hmm. the context yeah. And how it is being used in the sentence will let you know whether it's a fail or a ism. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, alam, uh, alamu is uh, uh, so uh, uh, this can, uh, this looks the same as uh, the fail and uh, ism, right? Yes, but it it uh, it is similar to the madare. This is madi. So that's why it is Akbara. So it is not similar. Yeah, yeah that I understand. But uh, uh, I just want to understand that uh, uh, Ismet of Deel. So Ismet of Deel looks the same in the uh, fail form and uh, the super, uh, the comparative one. Uh, Only the comparative the one because the superlative one will either be a mudaf having a jar ism after it or it will have al on it. So both are the signs of being an ism. So superlative form, you will always know that it is ism. It is only the comparative form that is similar to the present tense and our version. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's what I, uh, my uh, question was that uh, how mm -hmm. do you distinguish? So uh, the uh, context will tell you that uh, if yes. it's a fail or... Uh, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, let's go to the next word. Nazala. Is this a ism or a fail? It's a fail. Okay, why is it a fail? It's light and there's no reason, so therefore it's a fail and it ends with a 
uh, Fata, so it's uh, Fi'al Mahdi, coming yeah. from the family to uh, Allama family. Exactly. Jazakallah khair. Sister, number seven, what is the meaning? Akbar. It's like a big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would but be. But like a feeling, Mazi, how we. You, he was big. Just was. a second. Oh, Let yeah. me check. Let me check. Kabar. 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 Is the. Okay. Family. For to consider great or to deem significant, to praise. Mm -hmm. okay. Those are okay. the meanings. Okay, uh, so uh, sister, uh, another time maybe, if you can uh, uh, show us two sentences, uh, uh, I don't want, uh, because it will take time away from the class, in which Akbara, uh, like uh, Akbaru is used uh, like as a fail and uh, as a, a comparative so that we can uh, see that how to distinguish. Oh. If you can uh, show us two sentences so like, one uh, is on this pattern. Surah Kaf as well. Ana akhthru min kamala mubalata. Yes, and okay. inni yeah, alamu yeah, biman yeah. dalla. And so, uh, 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 that is also an ayah, which, inshallah. Which ayah is that? Which ayah uh, is that? I'm very bad with numbers and surahs. No, no, the person uh, who uh, the person who said that. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it. Oh, the fifth ruku, fifth ruku of Surah Kaha, the two men that were talking to one, each other. So yeah, um, so yeah, the okay. The one, so one was so, rich uh, and other was poor. at some uh, some time at the end of the class, if uh, uh, you can show us, uh, sure, uh, and we can talk about it. Thank no you. No problem, no. Inshallah. Okay. Then number. What 15? is the difference between Akbara and Akbaru? Sorry, Akbara. You wrote just for the word Akbara. You wrote Akbaru. What is the no, reason no. that? Oh, yeah, yeah, Akbara is Mavi. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Where is the pen? She, she wrote Akbaru to uh, 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 tell us that if hmm. it was uh, super, uh, like a comparative, like uh, uh, Ismith of Deal, then it would hmm. be uh, because someone said that uh, uh, isn't this uh, Ismith of Deal? So she said, no, here there is no debate about. Uh, Ismet of deal because it is not Akbaru. Ismet of deal would be Akbaru. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, when we come to those words again, we will go through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yak Talifu. Is this an ism or a fail? Uh, is no, fail? This is a fail because this one don't have uh, Tanuin or Al, and so no reason to be a uh, ism. And this is a uh, fail mudari and uh, uh, family four. Okay, family four. Four because ia uh, uh, ia beginning and uh, u ending. That is with madari. Excellent. That is completely correct. The thing is that with the families, I told you one little trick. What we yeah, do is yeah. So it is not oh sorry. This is not an uh, for. So it is. Yes. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, so we go away with the. Uh, uh, so it's from group two. So group yeah, so two her. we have uh, here is pa uh, and extra alif. So it's gonna be. There is no alif here. This is lam. Uh, okay, lam. So you have. Fa kalma has sakin, and then you have the ta. Which family has the oh. fa kalma sakin, and then the ta? Family uh, no, family five. two six. Just go through the whole families. It's okay if you don't exactly know where it is. Just go through the families. So because uh, I'll just erase this. We'll we'll go through the process. No worries at all. Yes, Sajda, you're correct. Uh, it is first of all the first thing we see is that it has ya 
So the first three families are eliminated. Alama, Jahada, Aslama are eliminated. Right? Yes. Then we move on to the next families, family five and family six. Tafarraqa. Tafarraqa has ta and a shadda. We do not find, we have a ta here, but we don't have any shadda here. So it cannot be family five. So then we move on to the next family. Mm -hmm. We have ta'awana or tasa'ala. You have ta and then you have an alif. You do have a ta here, but you don't but have an alif. alif. Mm -hmm. So it is not family six either. Okay, then we go again to the next family. Right? The next family is family seven. It is in qalaba. But we do not have the have in sound. So mm -hmm. it is not family seven either. Then we go to family eight. Family eight has iqtaraba. It has yeah. fa kalma sakin followed by a ta. ta. Mm -hmm. so, so this is the Exactly. So if you know, if you recognize well and good, you go exactly to that family. Nothing, no problem there. But always be sure that in getting the answer, you are following the process so that you don't end up on another family. Right? Yeah. Inshallah. So that's yeah. how. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Any questions? No. Okay. Let's go to number 19. Yeah, look. This, is, uh, this is present tense, and this is uh, either Yansuru or um, uh, uh, Karumu. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. That means uh, 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 Yak Rumu. So we have to see that uh, if the past tense is uh, uh, like Nasara or uh, 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 karuma. So that would be. Uh, yes, it will be either. Yan, uh, uh, yan suru, Nasara, uh, like, how, how would we write it? Yeah. But it is from Bab Nasara. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's because we have seen Khalaka. Yes. Um, that's why we know. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to the rest. Okay, Yun Diru. Is this a fail or an ism? This is a fail. Okay. Then what type of fail is it? Is it a past it tense or a present? Pre present tense. Okay. Why? Because uh, uh, you beginning and uh, the U ending. Yes. And what about the family? Family four. Because of the sukun of the nine kalma. Yes. The U begins to tell us that it is the first three families mm -hmm. of the big eight families and the Fa Kalma with the Sakin makes us go to the Aslama family, which is family four. Excellent. Yudakiru. Again, is it an ism or a fail? It is a fail. Okay, it's a is fail. It is a present tense. Why is it a present tense? U beginning and U ending. Okay. And what <clears throat> family is it? It is uh, Allama family. Yes, because of the U, we know it is one of the first three families. Yeah. And which of those? Shadda. It is because of the Shadda, we know it is family. Yeah. Oh, Allama. Yes. Okay, that's great. Mashallah. Tafarraqa, is it a fail or an ism? It's a fail. Okay, if it was an ism, then it is in the nasab version, right? Because of the fatha. Is there mm. any reason for it to be nasab? No. No. So that's why it will be a fail. Right? Okay? Yes. Okay, is it a past tense or a present tense? Past tense. Why? There's a ta beginning and a ending. 
and then from because of the hamza qata and the fa kalma being sakin it is family four islam excellent you see the master and uh, ism must uh, yeah if you just say ism for this exercise that's completely fine but okay. if you want to see which ism it is out of the sarf saghir then you go mm -hmm. through that family like we know that we said that this is family for ism so then mm -hmm. what we do is that we do aslama yuslimu islaman and islamun is matching ikhrajun so that that's why we say it's a masdar because it is mm -hmm. similar to that if it had been a uh, muslimun then we would have called it, it an ism and that too an ism file right mm -hmm. So, no, except uh, master, without master, how can we, how can we pronounce for the ism to this ikhraj? Ikhrajun. Farajun? No, no. Um, this is a term. It doesn't Karajun. have any other form. Master will be always like this. No, no. no. Uh, in spite of master, any ism? Master is an ism. Master is an ism. Is a, ism that, it is a verbal noun that comes uh, uh, from the what fail. My question is, what my question is, uh, except, uh, I mean, ikhrajun is then master, right? And instead of ikhraj, any word for the ism, for the root word of kharaja? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is family four ism. Then we will go to the family one. So, kharaja ya khuruju, kharjan or khurujan. Okay. So, those masters, those isms are on different uh, patterns and they are in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. There is no set rule to follow to make an, a master into a master of a family, one master. They are all just isms. They are not from one another. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, just have a look. Why? Yeah. Okay, number twenty. Okay, uh, I'll do that. This is um, number one. It is a fail, and uh, uh, it is uh, here uh, because I uh, uh, listened to your. You taught me this. This is difficult uh, to recognize mm -hmm. because it can be either. Uh, like uh, it is yufsidu, so if uh, we can think of that, it is like uh, like yuslimu, and it is aslama family. But mm -hmm. at the same time, there is another possibility for this. What possibility? And, uh, the, uh, the other possibility is that uh, since there are only besides the uh, uh, present tense marker, there are only three letters. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the, we can think of it as uh, it is uh, the um, from the uh, small families, and uh, uh, so what small family? So it cannot. It is not uh, uh, past tense. Uh, if we said it was present tense, then it would be uh, 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 yufs uh, like uh, uh, the present tense of small family is uh, yafsadu. So it's not yafsadu. So what else it can be, then uh, it can be the um, passive form uh, 
uh, would be if it was fasada was the past tense then it's uh, passive would be yufsidu then we have a debate that it is a small family or aslama family um, and so we have to go to the dictionary and now you explain the rest oh, it is not you, possible to go yes, to this you uh, because you, you did you did the uh, thinking that we did with the word but the word we did this thinking for was the passive form of present tense yufsadu okay so i kind of the, uh, no no you uh, your got I, mixed it up. i got yeah. okay so it was it is yufsadu. because in the family one the madare the active madare will never have the o yes and if it will have an u then it will be passive and then the ain kalma will have to have a patha can you uh, can you write that down so that uh, uh, sure can you get your white board out sure, because sure. okay sure. i was thinking okay i know it I, you told me yes before. yes no no i can understand <laughs> with Uh, where you were going with it? You were going perfectly. Yeah, because I was very start. happy that okay, you taught me, so I know it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And this is th this is how we learn, and this is how okay. we will yeah. get to the level where uh, we need to be, inshallah. So the okay. word was yuf sidu, right? Okay. Yeah. So what we say is that. first we go to the active forms right we don't jump yeah. to the passive forms so the okay. active form of present tense can be any combination except the passive one and the passive present is u on the first letter and a on the ain kalma mm -hmm. that is the sign of being passive over here you do have the oob in the beginning but the problem yes. is that you have the kasra here not the yes. fatha so this yes. is active yes i got i got it yeah right? because uh, yeah be, uh, being out of touch is, with sir no, i mixed no it problem. up yeah yeah so it is because then it is active and still it is oo then we know that it is from the big eight families family 2 family 3 or family 4 okay so right? uh, yeah because so, if it, so, uh, the reasoning you gave was that if the word was yufsadu now yes. this can so, be so, yeah. f4 and this can be f1 yes uh, yeah so uh, since uh, i didn't pay attention to the kasra on the ain kalma so mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that's what the whole explanation was for exactly uh, your explanation you was yeah. correct for this one yes got you right? got you got you because we know that the passive present of family 4 is the same as that of family 1 so yeah so so the first uh, uh, thought here uh, mm -hmm. uh, should have uh, should go with like uh, if it is uh, 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 since this exercise is all for active so that's a giveaway but otherwise first thing we need to uh, after we determine that it is fail mudaria the first yeah. question we need to ask if it is active or passive so i didn't ask that question i missed that process yeah so yeah. one so that's why that's why i'm saying that no matter how good you are um, in recognizing right first eliminate ism or fail that's the first step second step is if it's an ism what type we can do it like this so that we don't so if it's an ism then we will go here right and we will say it's we will study its four properties and then we will see what type of ism it is right this we will see if it's a fail then we go to the other direction first we do is we do is it madhi or madare 
okay then is it active or passive yes. then is it uh, what family it is so this in a nutshell is what we are doing right and every step has many rules that we need to keep in mind inshallah so that uh, we can differentiate between the words that are in front of us and especially this will work when you go into the quran there will be other things that will help you inshallah we will soon learn so it will be easier in a sentence by itself a word is harder to uh, identify in a way okay sister can we discuss any i mean by taking any example of ism okay let's see mm -hmm. uh, with the ism uh, we always ha uh, have to look uh, what is before it that uh, if uh, to make it light or not because i miss that sometimes and the, uh, uh, only focused on uh, the word so hmm. uh, you have to look before all that yes so for example um in a word like okay is this an ism or a fail you have the na beginning and the a uh, ending yeah it's a ism okay mm -hmm. why why is, is it an ism this is a combination mm. ending combination which ending combination is it in so it's uh, nasab jar uh, three yes then we will analyze if it looks like it's a ism then we do the first step we did we do the four properties mm -hmm. so number 1 what is the status nasab mm jar -hmm. yes nasab or jar then what is the number plural plural ina plural then what is the gender masculine 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 and what is the type common 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 okay what now this is the nahu part right and this uh, this is heavy yeah this is not light yes so but it yeah this is heavy that too you can put in okay then um surf wise consider the word nasara yes and what is the family one the... okay so you going to say something no no please continue what type of ism is it the uh, family one nasara yes you got the family correct but from the surface saghir tell me is it a master isme fail or isme maful or isme zarf no sira it, it is none of those is isme fail is isme fail cuz it comes from the fail the fail yes. nasirun it is failun and isme fail follows the muslim chart in all the big eight families and the big small six families isme mm -hmm. fail and isme maful these are muslim chart isms mm -hmm. and the idea is only the singular and the, the dual not the plural uh, of the masculine dual. but the feminine plural yeah yeah yes also with the same thing with this mizar and you know the singular and the dual of the feminine chart would that be included was that not no. included no. okay 
it's not included at all why isn't it included there should be a reason but for us now uh, it is the barbecue okay please Right. Uh, okay. sister, so this is how sister, you analyze anism. Sister Asfia, uh, can you uh, put uh, some light uh, ism uh, uh, from which we can get confused with our fail, and then um, uh, can someone think of a word? Sure. <laughs> Is it a fail or anism? I think that's the ism because hadaika wa naba sura naba. It's a muff all of that. You got yeah, it from sura naba. But that you that you were telling me in a uh, sitting with in a, a context, yeah, yeah. But here you have no context. You only have hadaika. And it is with the fatha, right? Mm. So then what we will do is, first we will think of it because we are doing the elimination process. So first we will start with the ism. Okay? First we will eliminate ism, then we will move on to the fail. Okay. okay. So, so first so, thought would be that it can, if we don't see a word uh, uh, that makes it light in the beginning, we would say it's a, a fail. Like uh, if we, yes, um, but we will yeah. analyze it more because with those words, what we did was that we knew that the it was three letter or four letter word and it was according to the big eight family and it sounded according to the small eight fa six families. So we went towards the fail side. But we started off thinking that it might be an ism. So the first step is to eliminate the process, uh, to eliminate the possibility that it's an ism. So proven and uh, uh, innocent until proven guilty, right? So first we have to prove that it's whether it's an ism or, an, or not. So if, for example, we just for the sake of argument, we say, okay, this is an ism. Then what is this? I mean, because we are doing an ism, so status wise, it's not an mean. So we would say it's fail. No, we would say it's light because of some reason. No, uh, uh, yes, light because of some reason. But I'm telling you, is it an ending combination or an ending sound? sound. Ending sound. Oh. Is it because it's a broken plural? Yes, and partially flexible as well. I was but that, that comes later on. First of all, if you see a word and you want to know its properties, you start with status and you start with what? The ending sound or mm -hmm. ending combination. Over here, you've got the ending sound. So you have two possibilities. Number one, it can be a singular ism. Uh, sister, sister Asfia, I'm a little bit um, in the process. I'm a little bit behind that. First of all, we uh, would not go to the ism route. We, uh, if we don't see anything in the beginning, wouldn't we automatically say that it's a fail, right? Yes, we did say it. But the thing was that over there, hadaiqa, right? Does yeah. it match any of the families? Oh, when it doesn't match any of the family, then we see the possibility of uh, then, uh, okay, first of all, uh, the first step is if it is uh, ism or fail. So, uh, uh, no tanveen and no word in the beginning, I would say fail, but then fail has to match a family. So, yes. uh, uh, if it doesn't match a family, then we have to go further to see, okay. Right, because okay. then Thank we you. need to see whether it's an ism or not, and we have to eliminate that first. 
and if we reach to the conclusion because that's how start did he started yes. with the possibility of it being an ism right he okay. did not okay. even consider the families and everything he just started off this is a word by itself right with nothing up, uh, after it or there over in the exercise we knew that uh, it was the master or the fail we knew the parameters here we are just blind of any parameters oh so we are just starting uh, we are assuming that if it was ism yes first we eliminate ism then we go to the fail okay 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 that's why okay thank you no problem at all okay so then you have if you have if we are taking now we are first uh, real, uh, realize uh, taking it as an ism so what we do is that this is an ending sound right ending sound and there can be two possibilities number one it is a singular ism or is it it's a broken plural right both have ending sounds mm. is this is this point clear remember yeah. start said yes. that if you have ending sound then you have two possibilities either it is a singular ism or is it a or it is a no. broken plural a okay mm -hmm. so then we know we want to know the meaning we would mm -hmm. go to the dictionary for the meaning right and we mm -hmm. would find out that it is it is not a broken plural yes so it is a broken plural and we know that some broken plural scales are partially fle partly flexible mm -hmm. and this is one of them Okay. So we know that this is an ism in the nasab or jar status. Okay. So we have to look at it like uh, it is there that it is singular or plural. yes it is a broken plural so you already know the uh, number and of course it is a non human broken plural so you also know the mm. gender yes. so mm. as all of the possibility uh, properties four properties are possible for this word that's why we say it is a ism and not a fail and even though if for example we did not we were not uh, clear whether it was an ism or a fail we would then go to the fail side and we mm. will see because of the a uh, at the end and mm. no ya ta a uh, or na in the beginning so it would be past tense so now you've got 14 families with 14 past tenses you go mm -hmm. through them and you try to match this word with any of the fail over there okay Th then those families are meant only for fail those families are only meant i mean those families have isms in them but we were just looking for the fail parts of those families mm -hmm. uh, uh, sister asfia so yes? um, uh, if we didn't know that um, a word is a fail and mm -hmm. uh, it was actually a fail uh, so and we go through this process so, uh, and it would uh, it should fail uh, uh, because it's an ism can we uh, do that uh, take an ism um, take a fail and try to do this process to see that how we fail uh, that process fails for ism uh, for a fail sure Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
So we start off with this assumption that it is an ism. Okay. Over here, you've got Dhamma, so it can be, it is an ending sound, right? Yeah. Okay, what are the two possibilities for ending sound? One is broken plural. Yes. And the Singular. other is? Singular ism. Singular ism. Okay. So then. Sister, sister sorry, can you the, read the word again, please? Sorry. I... Oh, Tata Karrabu. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Tata Karrabu. I apologize for my writing. Uh, tata no, no, you're fine. I'm only learning very fast. Okay. Uh, okay. So just tell me if something is not clear, right? Okay. So broken plural. Now, um, for now, right? We there are certain scales of broken plural that they come on, and we don't know those scales yet. We haven't studied those those scales yet. So for mm -hmm. us, the only way to know whether this word is singular or broken plural is to go to a dictionary okay mm -hmm. so when we go to the dictionary i can assure you that you will not find any word this way why because singular isms are never on this scale neither broken plural scales are in this scale Mm -hmm. how these scales are set broken plural scales are set so it is not from the broken plural scales so it cannot be a broken plural so we are left with a singular ism now all of the isms that we did we did um, for example uh, we did uh, from the isme file, the Muslim chart, right? Isme maful also come from the Muslim chart, right? Then you've got the masdar as an ism. Then you've got the isme zarf as isms. Then we did isme tafdeel. Right? Mm -hmm. we, did, we, did, we did these essence. Then we did uh, Mosuf Sifa. So Mosuf can be all of these. Sifa is a describing word. This is not any of the describing word, right? So we are going through all of the types of essence that we did and we are coming up with a blank. Mm. So, what is the conclusion that this word is not an ism? Is not an ism. Uh, uh, Sister Asfia, we ha have we done all the uh, covered all the isms, identified them? Nope. Or, or they not all? No, we've got a lot, a lot left. So uh, for Mosuf and Sifa also, uh, uh, the families that uh, we have done so far, uh, uh, we uh, haven't isms, covered these, right? Yeah, any, any of these isms can come as Mosuf. But for okay. Sifa, it needs to be an adjective. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. adjectives we haven't covered so far. Adjectives we haven't covered the scales of adjectives yet. Okay. So, yes. After identifying the, I mean, properties of ism, all the four properties, mm -hmm. uh, you told something about, I mean, how to, what are the properties, something like that. What is that for the ism? Um, 
Uh, I didn't get your question. Sorry. No, after uh, after identifying the four properties like status, gender. Mm -hmm. okay. After that, what we have to do for the SM? Then we will see what type of SM is it from the serf family, the SM parts of the serf family. Like? Or types of SMs that we have already done. I'm not getting that point. No, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, maybe. Once, no, what why do we? Uh, why do we need to identify the uh, four properties uh, to see uh, uh, that if it is an ism or not? Because every ism has four properties. Only fails okay, and so, her so, don't have properties. Okay. Okay, so if uh, we cannot identify all the properties of a word, that means it is a fail. it is failing the test of being an ism. Yes, right? yes. Okay. The four properties are the litmus test. Okay. okay. Thank you. Will you give an example again, please? Sure. There is some. Okay, sure, no problem at all. We will have. Mm. That is easy because you see that I mean, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, um, yes. Let's go to something like make it light. Make it light. Okay. Um, Just we'll discuss this for in first afterwards. You can make it like you sure. I want to say you asked for it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now tell me, um, is it an ism? Oh, sorry. Is it an ism or a fail? Motana is a fail. It's ending sound. I mean, ending combination. So it's some and light. Yeah, it is light. It's Why? Light it this is ending in u, so it mm. can be um a light madare as well. No, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have a lift. The end. It does not have the. The alif thing. Yes, and exactly. What? Alif this of alif ten. at the end is called alif or uh, al mm -hmm. separator. And this is exclusively for fails. Okay. So because there was not, and mm -hmm. I gave it away by putting it and then taking it away. Mm -hmm. So it it's is... The light version yeah. of so just by looking at the word we can identify whether it is ism or not. Mutana fisuna. There were two because... uh, signals. Number one, the beginning mm. with the mu. Mm -hmm. This is actually isme file. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And also the absence of the alif here. These two mm -hmm. were the signs that this is a achcha, achcha. Okay. And then we go to the four properties and then mm -hmm. we go to the isme file. Mm -hmm. So now you know why it is so important to have a very, very strong grasp on the properties of the ism we did, all the rules we did, 
uh, how it becomes light, what happens when something come, becomes light, right? Oh, yeah. And after seeing the four properties of ism, we have to see whether it is ism file or ism maful. Yeah, first we will do the nahu of the ism. Then we will mm -hmm. do the surf of the ism because we've done it. That's why we have to do it. Mm -hmm. Can we do this for this munafi soon? Sure. Then we do the four properties. Now we know that it's not a fail. So then yeah. we move on to the status. What will be the status? It is a proper. Uh, sorry, Pamen. No, no, status. Rafa Nasabjar. It is Una. Uh, yes. It is Rafa. It is Rafa. Rafa. Then the number. Plural. Yes. Then the gender. Male. Masculine. Masculine. Then the type. Common. Common. Hmm? Common. Common. Hmm. But because it is light and no al, mm -hmm. so this would be modaf, and its type would depend on the modaf light. Okay. If we had ring, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Over here, because there it is by itself, so saying common is completely correct. But if it was with a mudaf ilay, then the mudaf ilay would decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. After this, now that we've done all of the properties, oops, sorry. So we, we did the nahu part, right? That was the four yeah. properties. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now we do the surf part. <clears throat> so it is mutana fisun because we know it is light, so we made it heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is beginning with mu. Mm -hmm. So this will tell us it is an either it's an isme file or maful, right? Maful. Yeah. For the big eight families. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we see that this Ain Kalma has Kasra. Okay. So, uh, Sister Asfia? Yes. Sister Asfia, uh, I'm just uh, uh, forgetting. That for maful, can you give me an example uh, in one of the families? Which one was maful? Because uh, uh, isme file, I remember maful was. Ma isme file is mutana fasun, and the isme maful would have been mutana fasun. Fasun. This looks like jarf. Uh, no, uh, uh, the families that uh, uh, we went through, like for. Uh, Aslama family, which uh, what was uh, is the maful? <coughs> Mutlamun. Mutlamun, okay. Mu Muslamun? Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Family okay. one, the small families, over there, the fa isme file would be fa'ilun and isme maful would be mafulun. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, Mafulun. And uh, Aslama, you said uh, which one? <coughs> Maful would be which one? Again. Muslamun. Muslamun. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw it. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. So here uh, we, we are trying to decide whether it is from the Mu starting, we know it is the eight families and Isme file or Isme Maful. Now, whether it is isme file or maful, we will see the an kalima. It has mm -hmm. kasra here. So that's why it will be isme file. It cannot be maful. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, now which family from the big eight families? 
Yeah, because you have the ta and the okay. alif. Okay. So it is family six. Mm -hmm. Tanafasa. Mm -hmm. Tanafasa. Is the pastas. So you see how step by step with the rules yes. that we have done, we can identify both the properties and the type of person. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. I, th I think I was forgetting Maful because uh, I remember Maful by Isme Maful. So only oh, the okay. word Maful, I couldn't uh, think yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So Isme Maful for the big eight families are on set patterns with the Mu and the A uh, on the end Kalma. So Alhamdulillah, today, inshallah, I will be sending you notes on all the families. I've been um, preparing a very extensive document with all the 14 families and how to go through and the um, process of all the surface surveys that we've done. So inshallah, you will have that, we'll go through it. Uh, as soon as I post it and inshallah then you'll be able to see and there will be practice verbs in it so do the practices with that and then inshallah once we start the uh, recognition exercises uh, we will go through each word and what to look for and how to do it inshallah Jazakallah khair Jazakallah khair sister So inshallah we'll continue this um, next time so I think how Sister, when will be next class? The next class will either be on Friday um, after Stas's class or it will be Monday. So who will see the notification? Uh, inshallah, I'll uh, be putting the notification in the group uh, by Thursday, most probably, inshallah. Hmm. We but have now we... different... We have now different group or you use the uh, main uh, dream, dream uh, group? Uh, no, uh, Sister, uh, she have a different uh, study group join that. Maybe she is can, not can you, uh, um, uh, I will sure, sure, I will send it. Sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. No problem at all. So, so, so Sister, uh, the Monday and Tuesday classes are set. Sometimes there will be, uh, will be additional classes, but yes. the, uh, Monday, Tuesday are set, right? Yes, and inshallah, after the recognition exercises, um, first, I thought we will go through the dream book from the beginning, but because we are going through very important uh, subjects with the start, so I'd like to start with Jumla Ismiya first. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Sister okay Asya, what I would uh, really like is because sometimes uh, in uh, uh, very different directions, it's pretty hard since we are covering so much. I would like to uh, review uh, like uh, again uh, what Ustad is teaching. Okay, so yeah, inshallah, that's what, what you are saying. Is, also, that's what you are yes. also saying, so that we stay with Ustad and really absorb those concepts uh, 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 well. What Ustad is teaching, parallel okay, to Ustad. So, so, so this week, inshallah, if we come to, uh, we are able to have a session on Friday. We will wrap this up, and then we will resume this once Ustad starts surf again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, exactly. and uh, what, uh, sometimes the in the um, second hour uh, when the ustad is going uh, through what some surahs, uh, I would really, uh, uh, if you also think that it's a good idea, I would like to apply the concepts that ustad uh, is teaching us to really uh, um, with you, if we can, uh, through that uh, surah, if we can review those process uh, or parallel to ustad, that would be really helpful. Sure. So, inshallah, what we will do is that we will split the class into yes. half an hour of review and half an hour of the ayahs that start did that day. That yes, will, yeah. Uh, yeah. be better for now. And inshallah, because he's going to start with the surf soon. Uh, so then we can resume our surf studies after that, inshallah. Okay. Yes, so any inshallah, any um, um, further, any questions or any uh, confusion before we go, before we wrap this up?
no question no alhamdulillah no, okay alhamdulillah so inshallah we'll just end the session then subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk inshallah see you next inshallah tabarakallah